is what he has done, and he said, you lose, we'll pay. Uh, Mr Chair. I call the Honourable Minister Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Chair, very pleased to be able to rise and take a call on uh, this bill which makes possible um, the ultra-fast broadband initiative and the rural broadband initiative, which is supported by parties in this House that truly believe in innovation and economic development for New Zealand's future. Um, Mr Chair, um, I truly uh, am not even about to start um, dealing with the conspiracy theories of the previous speaker, uh, but for Ms Curran's uh, benefit, um, I have a couple of uh, responses in relation to the issue that she's raised, um, and um, I think it is important that, um, uh, that they be addressed, uh, because they were addressed uh, in the Government's announcement of 24 May, uh, both matters. Uh, I'll deal with them in order. Firstly, in relation to the, uh, in relation to the KiwiShare obligations uh, for consumers. These, of course, the Member may or may not be aware, were superseded uh, by the TSO deed with Telecom, which was negotiated by the previous Government in 2001, uh, and uh, so therefore aren't actually uh, active in the Act at this time. Uh, we've been clear all the way through for quite some time now that the obligations uh, in that TSO deed, should uh, Telecom uh, uh, become the successful bidder, would be split between Telecom and Chorus, and a replacement deed uh, put in place, and those are currently being negotiated. There's no plans to make any changes uh, to those obligations. The second, issue, the second issue is the ownership restrictions um, of the Kiwi share, uh, which are the matters addressed in the SOP. Uh, and uh, that was the subject of an announcement on the 24th of May uh, 2011 uh, by myself, uh, and also a series of questions and answers uh, that were uh, released at that time. Uh, so uh, it shouldn't come as any surprise. That was the date of the announcement of the arrangements uh, with the successful bidders. And that pointed out that the ongoing ownership restrictions would remain for chorus at that time uh, and, uh, and uh, they haven't been changed. They will be done in a deed uh, with uh, achieved through a deed between the Crown and chorus uh, combined with ordinary shares in chorus held by the Crown and requirements in the chorus constitution uh, for unanimous agreement by shareholders for any change. And of course the Crown will be a shareholder. Uh, and uh, so the, K the KSO in that respect is no longer necessary or applicable. Uh, for completeness sake, I would note uh, that those restrictions will not, require, be required, will not apply to the uh, retail company in the same way they do not apply to other retail companies such as Vodafone, Telstra Clear uh, or other retail companies that exist in the marketplace. Uh, so that should address uh, the members' issues in that respect. Is the, mem is the member taking, asking a thing? I call the...